Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for tuning in with us today. First and foremost, may the 4th be with you. Uh, it is of course May 4th, which is Star Wars Day. So hope you guys are all celebrating. We have watched the third movie, um, as in the prequel third, and now we're watching uh, episode six. We're in the middle of that. So basically we're just watching the conclusion of the trilogies. And then I, uh, I, I finally, if you guys watched our Disney haul where we picked up these shirts uh, from the last time we were in Disney, I have finally watched The Mandalorian. When we bought these, I had not, but Nikki kept telling me I needed to. And I was like, if I don't buy the shirt, am I gonna be upset? And he was like, yes. And uh, he was right because Baby Yoda is the only baby that I ever want in my whole life. So yes, hope you guys are all enjoying the day and celebrating it. Uh, and that, uh, yeah, you're uh, you're respecting your, your Star Wars love as necessary and as you see fit. So today we are going to do a Ulta, an A, an, an Ulta haul. I know how grammar works. Um, we're gonna do an Ulta haul. Uh, I did talk about this a little bit in the last couple videos. Basically I put in a little haul, little being like a hundred bucks, so not that little, but I put in a little haul and I got some hair stuff and some face stuff that I was running out of. And then I started really thinking about how much of my base makeup that I was using and my concealers and my eyebrow products, the ones that are really pricey that I'm using every single day, especially while I'm showering every day and we're filming every day. And so I'm doing my makeup every single day it was becoming a lot and I didn't wanna waste my 40, $50 concealers and foundations um, and my expensive like $30 eyebrow pencils on stuff that is basically just going to be a base for me to do an eye look or something like that, a first impressions, cause you know, that's what we normally like to do. So I started looking at Ulta and even though I'm trying not to buy, not to spend a lot of money, I wound up spending another $215 at Ulta. I, um, I picked up a lot of stuff though. I got a ton of things in this haul. Some things that were unnecessary that made it expensive, more expensive than it should have been. Um, but a lot of it was really affordable products that I'm going to be using to help get me through the social distancing, quarantining, whatever you wanna call it, time that we are currently in. So we're gonna jump into this haul. Uh, before we do though, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, consider doing that. I'm sorry I've talked a lot. I know it's I, it's a terrible problem I have. But uh, yes, yeah, so let's jump into this. So the exact price that I paid for everything involved here is 20, sorry, $213.74. And I received uh, 21 items. There was a promotional discount that was going on that I got $10 off of and I used a 350 coupon that Ulta typically always gives. So I did use all of those. The first thing that I'm gonna talk about, I'm gonna go through all of the base stuff and then I'm gonna show you the palettes and stuff I picked up just additionally. Um, but we're gonna go through first foundations. I did get two different foundations in like slightly variant shades. This one is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation. I've used it in the past. Uh, it's not it's not a bad one for an inexpensive uh, foundation. I found other ones that I like better, but it happened to be on sale for like six dollars. I think I paid for both of them. I paid yeah thirteen fifty eight, so it was uh, six six sixty three six sixty four ish. Uh, so yeah, so pretty decent price for those six dollars for foundation. That's normally about as cheap as I can go. I did pick up some that were a little bit cheaper than that, but I've never tried these before. So I wanted to make sure that I liked them before I bought like four or six of them. Cause you guys know I always buy in pairs and I always buy more than probably necessary, but that's who I am as a person. So sorry. Um, so we've got the wet and wild photo focus foundation. I've heard great stuff about this. I have never purchased it myself and it was buy one, get one 50% off. The week before was actually cheaper than that. I think they were both 50% off um, or like the whole, like the collection was 50% off. So I did not, I had it in my cart when it was at that price and it was a little bit more expensive, but for both of them, it was 974, incredibly cheap. We're looking at under $5 of foundation. Definitely gonna get me through um, uh, our social distancing and all the filming that we've been doing with that, just to give myself a nice base. If you can tell, I don't know if you can or not, my foundation color is a little darker than I like it to be today. It is also set with baby powder because we're just in like full, like don't care anymore mode and running low on stuff mode. And so, yeah, so here we are. But yeah, so I picked these up so that I would have some um, cushion room on uh, foundations. That way I wouldn't run out of my uh, cheap stuff because I'm like on my last like half bottle of what I have and I wouldn't have to start using the, the absolute crap out of my expensive stuff. Next thing I got, was concealers. Now I actually have been using this concealer super consistently throughout quarantining. So 
I talked about them in my April picks. These are the Makeup Revolution Conceal Define Coverage Concealers. I get the shade uh, C3 and a half, and it seems to be the perfect one for me. It's a little bit lighter than my actual skin tone, which gives me enough um, kind of cushion room to use darker foundations and I can go over it the darker foundations and kind of give myself a little bit of a highlight area. So I really, really like it. It does have a little bit of a chemically smell at first, but I think for the price that you're getting it for and uh, with uh, the coverage that it provides you, it is a very close dupe to Tarte Shape Tape to even the Juvia's Place, which is not as expensive as Tarte Shape Tape. I think full price is like $14, but I normally only buy that kind of stuff when it's on sale and I still don't want to waste it when I'm not really going anywhere. So these bad boys out, they are uh, $7 a piece. So I bought all four for 28. However, that is the $10 promotional coupon that was being offered. So I spent at least $25 in Makeup Revolution products. I got $10 off. So I paid $18 for the four of these, which means each one retailed at $4.34. So that was a great deal in my opinion. Opinion. Now I did put in this order a good while ago. It took about a week and a half to get to me. Totally understandable considering the circumstances, but this promotion I believe is still going on. They're still at Ulta's website, still doing the $10 off. So if you guys are thinking about like trying some Makeup Revolution products, this is probably the time to do so because no matter what you buy from them, you get that $10 off as long as you spend 25. Next thing I'm going to talk about is, uh, it's the same thing I've talked about in the past. It's been in my favorites list before. These are the NYX Professional Makeup uh, Eyebrow Pencils, the Micro Brow Pencils. Um, I got them in the shade Taupe this time. I bought three of them. Uh, they were on sale. They're normally they're normally ten dollars. So normally it would be thirty dollars. They were on sale for seven dollars. So I paid twenty one dollars for three brushes. I mean three um, pencils. That was where I was looking for. And uh, that is the full price of one ABH Anastasia Beverly Hill eyebrow pencil. And I would say these are almost an exact dupe to it. So once again, good way for me to keep doing my eyebrows, but uh, not totally break the bank while doing it. The next thing that we have back to foundations, I normally like to have a nice, um, I use, instead of like a setting powder, I actually normally will use a pressed powder foundation to set my liquid matte foundation. I feel like it just helps, you know, kind of neutralize color in a lot of ways. Like I said today, I use baby powder, so I, I'll use what I have to and I'll use what I need. Um, I do have setting powders, but I just typically like the way that uh, conceal, I mean concealers, that foundations work better. I picked up the LA Girl Pro Face uh, High Definition Matte Pressed Powder. Uh, they were also buy one, get one 50% off. This is one of my favorite affordable products uh, in terms of this. I've used other ones. This color seems to match my skin tone really well. I like the formula. So that's why I decided to pick these up. I do have a couple, I bought not long ago, some pretty uh, affordable pressed foundations because I was out completely of all of them. And I don't normally spend a ton of money on the pressed foundations that I do buy, but I just didn't like the colors and stuff that and the way they were working. I bought a couple Ulta ones and they're a little darker than what I like to use. So I did go back and get a couple more of the LA Girl ones. Both of them together were $10.49. Um, so yeah, looking at like $5 a piece for that, pretty good deal. The last thing of the base stuff before we jump into the palettes that I picked up is just, I got two of these little Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascaras. They at full price were uh, $2.91. So just a normally cheap, product, cheap, not in a bad way, cheap as in an affordable way. They've never used them before, but they've got great reviews. And I really just like having the microfiber uh, brushes with the color in them to go and kind of brush out my stuff and give it some good base color. And then I can clean it up with concealer and with pencils. So that is why I opted to buy all of this good stuff. So yeah, so those are my affordable things. The, the other stuff that I bought, it's not that it's not affordable. It's just that it was unnecessary one. I didn't really need any of it. Um, not that I need any of this stuff, but it was, it was, there was more of a motive behind this, but yeah, so let's jump into this. So I got two of the new palettes from BH. I love BH. I pretty much, they put out a lot of stuff, so I don't buy all of it, but I buy most of what they put out just because I think they're super affordable and they have quality products. So I got the color Vivasi and the Romantic Nomad palettes. Both of these little guys are 12 bucks. They are so cute and little. I've got a couple different ones that are, that they do, like they do the same kind of shape and just have like different cute little like uh, 16 color palettes. And so we've got the colorful, beautiful, uh, summery looking one. And then we have got the, what I would call more of a springtime, very muted, but still colorful. Lots of gorgeous things you can do for a nice, just really light, pretty pink romantic eye look. So 
Definitely will be doing some first impressions on these guys. I Like I said, I really like BH, so I am very excited to test them out and see what we can do with these little men's right here. Yeah, and then the next thing I got, so I'm gonna be 100% candid with you guys. I am confused as hell as to how the, the company works. So we've got Makeup Revolution and then we've got Revolution Pro. Every time I look them up, it looks like they like share a website. So I don't know if they're like, if one of them is a parent company and then they're a subdivision of it. I don't know if they're two separate companies and I'm just really bad at life and figuring that kind of stuff out. It's very possible that's the answer. But I did pick up these, uh, these are Revolution Pro. So not the same exactly as this, which is Makeup Revolution. So the, Revolution Pro had a, a whole new line of, they call them new neutrals, and I got the blushed palette and I picked up the passion palette. This is the blush palette. It is a 28, I'm sorry, 28. It's a $20 palette. So in my opinion, for the amount of colors you get, as long as they are worthwhile, if they are like Makeup Revolution, then I have no question that they will be great. If they are not, then I'm a little bit more interested to see uh, what happens with it. Yeah, I've thought $20 for a palette was really cool. And I think that uh, it'll be a really fun first impressions for both of them. So this is the Passion one. Both really gorgeous, just absolutely comes with a ton of great colors. You get 18 shades in each. I think there's some really gorgeous glitter shades included in there. Um, we're looking at like, you got Hint, you've got, you know, Lucent, this one, Kava is gorgeous. So there's a lot of cool stuff that we can do with these palettes. And uh, at 20 bucks, I really think for a decent palette, that's not a bad price. Um, so I'm excited to test those out. The last and most expensive thing that I bought, this was definitely one of those things where I like had a cart that was like 140 bucks and I was like, that's a lot of money, but it's, it's manageable. And then the last minute I was like, I'm gonna buy this. And then it put me to $215. So I did pick up the new Benefit Cheek Stars Reunion Tour. Benefit, some people have some mixed stuff to say about them. Not a lot of people say bad things about them. I personally really like the company. Um, I love their products and I, uh, I loved their Cheek Parade, the original one they did. Just absolutely one of my favorites. Still one of my go-to cheek palettes. And so this was, they put out like an in-between one and the in-between one, it was pink. I don't remember what it was called, but honest God, it really just looked like there was one new shade in it and they just kind of mixed up all the cheek colors and then like repackaged it. And they were like, look, it's new. And I, so I never bought that one. This one though is primarily new colors. The last palette didn't have any um, highlight shade in it. So this one comes with a highlight shade. This one is, it's got the bronzer of course. And then it's got some really pretty kind of like shimmery shades that could be, Honestly, like even looking more at Georgia, I'm thinking that might be a highlighter as well. Let's see if I can figure that out. I threw away all the boxes and all the information about it because of, I'm just paranoid getting stuff in the mail right now. Yes, so it looks like everything is a blush. They're all blushes except for the one that I pointed out that said it was a highlighter. So, but yes, but they are shimmery. So uh, I'm excited as, as I'll get out about testing this guy out. But the reason I decided to buy it when I decided to buy it, because I mean, it's been out for a little while and I've seen it and I've been like, eh, no. They put another free gift. I picked up one of, not the exact one, different different style. I picked up one of these at Christmas time, I believe. And it became my travel cosmetic bag. You guys have probably, if you've watched me do my makeup or if you've seen some of our older stuff, you might've seen me talk about my Femme Fatale bag, which used to just be my all the time makeup bag and my travel bag made it super convenient. Well, that had to end because I stuffed the hell out of it and then it started to break. And so I should have bought just another one of those, but I have not done that yet. But I got this bad boy at Christmas time and it fit all my stuff to travel with perfectly. And so I wanted another one that wasn't gonna be my travel bag that I could just have to store stuff in because there's so much storage in it. And then the other nice thing is it comes with this cute little hanging case. So just really exciting, really cute. Um, I was, it sold me. I had to spend 60 bucks, the palette was 60 bucks. I was like, all right, well, there we go. My decision has been made. So definitely a large Ulta haul. Uh, I'm excited to get to try out some of the stuff on camera with you guys watching. I'm definitely excited to finally have some base makeup and stuff that doesn't um, cost too much. So that way as I'm going through it, I can uh, feel less guilty about wasting it uh, to basically just sit in my house all day. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I apologize. I feel like I got rambly at places. My head is hurting right now. And so I'm just kind of like, oh, what am I doing with life? Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed the video, definitely give it a thumbs up. That helps our page out a ton and it uh, also makes me feel nice. So uh, yeah, thumbs up. And other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and stay early with the dark twist.